Boa tarde todo mundo, my name is Joe Lyon and welcome to another installment of Portuguese Online. I'm starting to understand that I own a lot of shirts. Today we're going to talk about the IR endings. We've already been through the AR endings and the ER endings and now we're going to go through the third ending, the IR endings. So because we've already went through how to conjugate a verb twice, this video is going to be really short. I'm just going to show you what the endings are and then we can get to the next video. Okay, so here we have our graph again of the different uh, conjugations of verbs. So we're going to be using this today for the conjugation of IR ending verbs. And in order to do that, I'll meet you at camera two. Hi, camera two, which is really camera one just zoomed in. Now when it comes to the IR endings, you're in luck because there's only four to remember, like the other ones. So we can just get rid of this line right here, and we should be on our way. Now the IR endings are actually almost identical to the ER endings. So the top one here, if you remember, is U, so, for instance, for the unconjugated verb abrir, the conjugated form of that in the first singular is eu abro. Then for você, ele, and ela, it is the same as it is in the ER, which is e. So it would be você abre, ele abre, and ela abre. This one right here is the same as the ER as well. It is ang. Remember, it is not m, it is ang. The only one you need to worry about is the first plural, which is the nos. And that, instead of being amos, like it is in the ER endings, it is imus. So instead of abremus, which isn't a word at all, it is abrimus. And that's really all you need to know. There's only one difference from the IR to the ER endings. So it's a really short lesson for today, but if you meet me at uh, camera one, we'll go over what's going to go up next time. So the assignment is pretty simple for next time. Just remember that there's an I right here instead of an E, so therefore it is an imus instead of an amos. And also, practice with the IR verbs, uh, these endings. Just remember writing it over and over again, saying it over and over again, practice with some friends. After practicing it for a while, it should become natural. Also, continue practicing the other verbs, as well as the other lessons that you've learned previously. Practice the AR verbs, the ER verbs, and the IR verbs. Make sure that you know the difference between them. Make sure that you're able to get that down. And next time, we'll go over the irregular verbs. So the vocab list for today is a little bit longer than usual. However, because the lesson for today was so simple, I think you can handle it. The basic list of verbs with uh, any of the three endings. Trabalhar, which means to work. Pensar, which is to think. Jogar, which is to play. Chegar, which is to arrive. Deixar, which is used a lot in Brazil, which means to leave something behind. Not to leave a room, but to, you know, leave something on the table. Tentar, which is to try. Nacer, which is to be born. A happened, which is to regret. Remember the two R's is the sound of an H. Vender, which is to sell. And divertir, which is to have fun. So good luck with the memorization. My name is Joe Lyon, and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!